Did you know that May is National Mental Health Awareness Month? It is. But do you know what that really means? Well, among other things, it means a renewed commitment to overcoming the stigma associated with mental illness. It also means encouraging those with mental health conditions to get the help they need. For 70 years, the nonprofit Northside Center for Child Development in Harlem has been an important resource for achieving those goals and for making sure that children and families have access to the support, acceptance, and enrichment they deserve. Dr. Thelma Dye is the executive director and CEO of the Northside Center for Child Development. She joins me now along with ABC News correspondent and anchor Deborah Roberts, who has been a committed supporter of the center. Deborah is also the author of Been There, Done That, Family Wisdom for Modern Times, a new book she wrote with her husband, our friend, Al Roker. Welcome, both of you. It's a real pleasure to have you Thank guys you. here. Thank you. So, Doctor, uh, let me start with you. Mm -hmm. Could you give us a, a quick background on the center? And, and could mm -hmm. you tell us what its chief goals are? Well, Northside was founded 70 years ago by Drs. Kenneth and Mamie Clark. Those were black psychologists who Famous. did the Black White Doll study that was ultimately used in the Brown versus the Board of Education. Basically, it was a yeah. A, tell us a, this. Well, basically, it was a study where they showed uh, black children black and white dolls and asked them to give them the nice doll, give them the, the doll that looked like them and the, and the doll that was bad. And ultimately, most of the black children chose the black doll as a bad doll and the white doll as a nice doll. Mm -hmm. That was a very important study uh, because it was one of the first times sociological research was used in a, 19, in a uh, Supreme Court decision, which was in 1954, Brown versus Board of Education, which legally ended segregation in public schools. And, and I briefly mentioned some of the goals in the introduction, but I wonder if you could elaborate a little bit. Well, our goal, particularly during this month of Mental Health Awareness Month, is to help reduce the stigma and shame of mental health health and ensuring children and families access mental health. We do um, therapy, we do education, we do all kinds of things at Northside, uh, primarily geared to helping children feel better about themselves, using some of the work that the Clarks originally did to enhance self-esteem so that children and families have the ability to access mental health services and, be, and receive treatment with social, social workers, psychologists, psychiatrists, mental health workers. Mm -hmm. whomever can make a difference in ensuring yeah. the strength and helping children and families overcome trauma. Uh, Deborah, how, why did you become interested in the center and, and how have well, you been involved? Well, I have to say, I actually didn't know much about the center until recently. Mm -hmm. And I was asked, I was approached to host a gala for them. And I, of course, had heard about the Clark's experiment. And when I realized the connection with this center, I thought, ah, <laughs> this makes perfect sense. I'm a parent, uh, and I know what it's like, of course, to make sure that your children are taken care of. But I had also done a story for ABC two years ago where I sort of did my own little study uh, mm -hmm. with this at an, in a New Jersey school, obviously an unscientific study looking at kids and dolls Absolutely. and so forth, and seeing, unfortunately, the kids are mm -hmm. still... That's gravitating right. toward the lighter skin doll. Exactly. And I thought, oh still, my wow. goodness, there's still work to be done. So Absolutely. I didn't know that much about the center, but mm -hmm. I knew that the work that they're doing is important and I had had a little connection to the Clarks Absolutely. and was happy to be a part of it. And everyone is connected. Yeah, well, I, I wanted to talk about the book briefly. Mm -hmm. uh, if oh, not are, briefly. Come on, we can talk a lot about the book. Let's, come on, let's take a lot of time. Connections. And it relates to Northside. That's it. That's Karen. the question you predicted. Yeah. What, how does the book relate to the concerns of the center? Well, because I have children. I have mm -hmm. teenagers. And mm -hmm. I also have a son who has some learning disabilities. Mm -hmm. And we are in a very fortunate position, my husband and I, to be able to afford the help that he needs, the tutors that he needs, the school that Absolutely. is giving him all that he really needs. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of parents who don't have that opportunity and certainly don't have access to a place like Northside. So I think it's so important, while the book is all about family relationships and all kinds of other things, we do touch on the fact that we have children and we're trying our best to give them what they need. Exactly. And, you know, I support the notion of other parents having an opportunity to do That's that. Right. And, Doctor, let's elaborate with the, the things that both you and Deborah have, have talked about, which is race in part. That's right. Uh, what are the specific challenges of dealing with mental health issues in communities of color, in, mm -hmm. in poor communities? Well, one of the, the biggest challenges is access and having services available, readily available. The other issue is because there's a stigma attached to 
to mental health treatment, children and families of color don't always access it. We have 43 million adults in the United States alone that are diagnosed with a mental health issue. Only half of those have um, received treatment for it. And in families of color, even less receive treatment for it. And sometimes they're diagnosed with far worse conditions at a later time in life when had they accessed the treatment and had the treatment, they would not have. In fact, we talk about it in the book. Yeah. My husband and I, and friends mm -hmm. said, bravely talked about the fact that we've gone through therapy together mm -hmm. as a couple. Mm -hmm. And I, my older brother, who is, you know, military and a yes, very, you know, exactly. sort of tough guy, you don't talk about those things. You don't put that out in the public. Mm -hmm. Certainly in the black community, this is a subject that people don't talk about. And There's I more think, stigma yeah, in the black that. community? Of, of course, yes. because the idea yes. is maybe you should keep this within your own communities. And you don't want to air your dirty laundry. Your and family, really. you should be able to help yourself. Your family should be able to help you. You just exactly. don't. Want to do. So it, it really is an issue, and I think that one of the things about Northside is that it's sensitive, um, and it has therapists of all races, all ethnicities, and people who can absolutely relate to the children and families that really need to come to us and, and see all the things that we can do. And one of and and the specialness about Northside is that we do other services as well. So talking about it is key. The more yeah. you talk about it, I think the more we all realize we're all Absolutely. dealing with something. Well, thank you for talking about it with us. It's been a pleasure to have you both here. Thank you so much. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you.